Hello everyone and welcome to Recipes with Clara. My name is Clara. This is a channel where we give you workable, doable recipes that you can work at at home to enhance your hospitality. And today we have another one of the delights and this is samosas. We are doing samosas and uh, we've already, we already did the filling and you can go to the description for the link to how to make the filling and so today we are just working on the samosas a really delightful recipe and as is always our custom we want to pray to the giver of creativity so that he will help us through this thank you lord that you're with us you will be with the viewers you will grant us your fruitfulness as we do this for your glory in jesus name amen So we have our filling, like I mentioned earlier, that is ready. I have about three cups of all-purpose flour. I have a, uh, a three-quarter teaspoon of salt, and I have some water so that we make a soft dough for our samosas. So I will go ahead and just mix in the salt. And... Uh, I'm trying to mix it with my hands and then we will go ahead and make a soft dough. Yeah, so we have our dough there ready. Uh, like I mentioned, I put in the ingredients, we will need some salad oil to fry the samosas and also extra flour to uh, dust our uh, working surface but now we will give it about 15 minutes just to rest i'll cover it and then we will start working on it after 15 minutes yeah so i our dough now after the 15 minutes i want to cut it into equal pieces around eight and then we will now make the chapati like uh, si sizes of dough shapes. So I've made them into roughly eight pieces. Yeah, so I will just uh, make sure it is well rounded. And then I'll make a wide uh, chapati like. Yeah, so we will have done this one that is about the size of my pan. Uh, and then we will do the same for the rest of them. So I will just start with two, then we'll go ahead and dry them on the pan. We'll see how to do that. And then we do the same for all the eight. So our pan is uh, hot enough. Uh, I've made this like you saw, it's round. So we are going to put it here so that it can dry a little. Remember, if you can't make the round shape, you might as well get uh, something round like the lid of a pan and trace around your chapati so that it can be round. But really, uh, if you can do round like I've done fairly round, it's okay. So we are allowing it to cook. As we begin to see the color change, we will remove it. Yeah, so we can see the color has changed and that's how it looks on this side so we will remove it so just do that to the rest of the others so you're not doing it for a long time just a short time when you see the color change and it looks like that just remove it so we've done our eight pieces i've made them quite uh, thin not too thin but really thin as you can see and arranged them so I tried to make them as round as I could and so I'll cut them into quarters and then I'll show you what we will do. The 
these are the quarters I'm talking about you can see that so I have my paste here that I have made with some all-purpose flour and mixed in with water to make a thick paste that we will use to bind our samosa so I will demonstrate with this first one on this side we will fold it halfway you can see that and then I will apply paste like that enough and then I will use this other remaining half and uh, I will paste it on the other one and try to get it to fit in uh, including that that I'm just putting together that way by the way these ones you can make them so that in future you keep them in the freezer in future you can use them for your samosas but that's how we will make and then later when we put on our samosas we will cover and paste so there are our pockets as you can see so that now all we will need to do let me use this one to demonstrate is pick a pocket and put in about a tablespoon of the meat and then um, we will again apply our paste and then I will fold it a little fold it in a little and paste it on just making sure as much as possible there is no hole uh, so you can see that so you keep sealing and try to seal it like that so we will do with all of them what you have seen me do someone may ask why do we dry this out and that's a question one of the people I was teaching this asked and we decided to try and do without drying them out and the samosa still tasted great but it didn't have this samosa like smoothness you see it wrinkled up and didn't look really very nice so just follow the procedure as you have seen and you will have your tasty nice samosas So I had made something fun, you don't want to know what it is, to just help me know that my uh, that oil is ready. Um, now that it got to a golden brown color, I know now we are ready to fry our samosas. So we will put in just enough and of course we will fry to a golden brown yeah, so I think those are enough for our let me add one more now that our pan is big uh, I think those will be enough so we will simply fry them to a golden brown and then we will be done uh, so they are getting to a golden brown so we will turn them and fry again until this other side is same color and then our samosa will be ready. We have that nice color there. Our samosas are ready. We are using uh, a tray that is lined with paper, towels or serviettes so that we can we can dissolve the we can absorb the extra oil and so just do for the rest of the samosas what we have done and get them to that nice golden brown color so girls i want you to taste those samosas and tell me how they are okay how are they so tasty mm, keep going 
would you recommend for other people to make this recipe? Yes, it's very tasty. Mm. Mm. Do you think yes. they'll enjoy it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, wow, I'm <laughs> very <glad> much. I'm <laughs> to hear that. And so I hope you can see that and you will try this out. Yeah, these are some of the people that will enjoy them. Okay. There you had it from the little girls. So it's a recipe you would want to try out and enjoy with your family, your guests, you know, the people the Lord brings your way. So thank you so much for joining us. Consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and I'm sure you will get notification every time we post a recipe just like this one. I've tried to make it as simple as possible so that you can do it. So thank you for joining us today and uh, until our next video it is bye, bye from us